This week we're finishing the Book of Numbers. We read two Parshas, the second of which is called Maase, and in it are enumerated all the stops that the Jewish people made. They left Egypt and they are on their way to the Promised Land. And along that journey, in this week's Torah portion, every single stop that the Jewish people make is, in, is, is, um, is enumerated. So we came from this place, we went to this place, we left this place, we went to that place, or it's all written out. And what Rashi, a medieval commentator, teaches us is that all of these stops along the way are for us to understand that God is taking care of us, that God performs miracles for us, that God is, is doing wonders for us, that God is bringing us to salvation and bringing us from freedom, that he brought us out of Egypt, that he split the sea for us, that he fed us and that we had water in the desert, that he gave us the Torah, that we have our freedom and that God brought us out and carries us with a strong arm, with our head, head, heads held high. All of these things are things that we need to recognize for the Jewish journey of the Jewish people in the desert. And also in our journey today, we, each one of us are on a journey as a collective, as the Jewish people, but also as individuals. And can we recognize as the Jewish people did when they were in the desert, that God was with them, that God was helping them, that God was protecting them, that God was doing what was best for them to bring them to the promised land. So that's one commentator. Another commentator, the Sifono, who's a 16th century Italian commentator, suggests that all of these places that are written out in this week's Torah portion are to help us recognize that the Jewish people should be praised because we left an encampment and we, we followed the clouds. We didn't know where we were going. There was a certain discomfort with taking apart the encampment and then putting it back together, not knowing what the new place would be, where we are going. And yet we followed God faithfully in the desert. We didn't complain about following God. So too in our lives, can we recognize the involvement of God again? Can we recognize that we have a certain control over certain things and other things we don't have control over? And yet we're all intertwined. We have job to do down here, whether it's a big job or, or a little job, it's all big. And we all have something to contribute and we all have something to do to bring more blessings and more goodness into the world. So as we travel our own individual journeys, can we, like the Jewish people in the desert, recognize the involvement of God with the miracles, with the salvation, with the kindnesses? Can we also recognize our own contributions that we're following God and we're doing God's work and we're partners with God in bringing the world to a better place? And please, God, can the world very soon get to that place where there will be no more suffering and no more war and no more death and we will all live peacefully together, which is the promise for the end of days.